Good evening, wonderful students. This is Mr. Jairo, and today we'll be looking at ICT application on one of the topics um, from the IGCSE course. And it's a very important topic because uh, we're looking at the uh, real life applications of this um, uh, particular topic in various um, subtopics. So, the first one we'll be looking at um, in this video is um, ICT in communication and one thing you need to understand about um, ICT application in communication is that there are several communication systems that makes use of this ICT technology okay um, for example we have the newsletters um, we have flyers and posters we have websites we have multimedia presentations we have media streamings we have e-publications and these are the things we'll be looking at in this first video. Now for newsletters, um, you can see here that um, uh, they are used essentially by companies, okay, to communicate certain information to staff and customers, okay, and uh, they may contain information um, on recent events and identify success um, companies may have experienced or have um, over the course of the year, okay? Um, and they are produced very easily, okay? And these are produced using a word uh, processor, okay? They have photos in them, okay, that can be taken by cameras or they can be downloaded for the internet okay and there are various ways in which newsletters can be produced it, now you need to understand that a newsletter is a very useful method for getting information important information to a target group of people okay um for example you're doing um a kind of a fundraising uh, event and a well presented newsletters um is going to accompany that fundraising um, is going to be very inevitable, okay? And newsletters can be printed um, out or available online. And if it's available online, it can come as an e-publication, okay? And this method depends on who the target audience is, okay? When you present, when, when the documents are printed, right, they're personally handed to somebody, and you can start, you can be certain that they can be seen um, as a news later, okay? And they're both used to either printed or soft copy to pass what important information. And that's why you see that in the slide right here that it is seen as um, one, um, okay? They are seen as a paper based communication and uh, about people um, about their interests okay they use um, these methods to inform parents about events or dates okay and we have advantages okay we have advantages about the news later now for the news later the advantages could be um, they are released regularly, okay? Um, the recipients can have a permanent copy, as you can see here. Um, disadvantages, on the other hand, could be it requires distribution and there are no special effects or, you know, um, sounds or video um, when we are sending out these newsletters. And it's for the art, for the paper-based communication, you know, they cost quite a lot in printing okay the next one is website and when we look at website we look at uh, we look at uh, companies they make use of this website to communicate with um, existing and potential new customers okay and they can be easily updated uh, and can provide relevant and up-to-date information now, with websites, you can use it to make research about what the company is all about, okay? You can communicate with them 
to them. They can communicate to you through that platform. Okay? And the beauty of our website is rather than producing newsletters or posters by printing them, we can set up a website for advertising. And although it requires that you have a domain, okay, you have to host that website, pay for the domain service, the likes of that. But still, um, it, it, it helps you. Uh, it can be expensive, no doubt. Um, but the cost does not stop there, okay? It goes on in terms of getting people to actually build you, build the website and whatever, but it becomes much easier and cheaper for individuals or small organizations to create and host this website, okay? And the big advantage this um, website has is that they offer worldwide advertising capabilities and there is no need to buy any people or other consumables okay or pay people to deliver your newsletters or flyers okay and that is why um to me the website is better okay yes they, they tend to advertise goods and services which require um, which can um require national and international coverage and you just have to push it advertise it online your website and people will keep coming you know to your website to see what you have to offer okay and beauty the website covers from all areas doctors engineering and the likes of that now what are the advantages between um, the advantages of websites one we see that sounds video animations can be added Links to other page and website can also be added, talking about hyperlinks. Um, buttons to navigate or move around the website. Hit counters, talking about the numbers of visitors that are coming to your website. And this actual website can be seen by global audience. And it is much easier to update a website, okay? Because you don't have to actually reprint anything or neither can you need to distribute a new version. If it's updated, everybody sees the updated one. But why this is better, there are still some disadvantages that we need to look at. And what are the disadvantages of this um, available website? Is one disadvantage is that it can be hacked, okay, and modified, or viruses even introduced, okay. Now, another um, important disadvantage is customers will need to have a computer and internet connection if they are going to visit the website. Um, it can result to farming attack, okay? And we talked about farming in our class as well. Um, another disadvantage is that it's a need for company to maintain the website once it is set up, okay? And because it's a global system, it is more difficult to target the current audience. It's global. It means even the even the target audience you're looking for, you may not actually get it because everybody's just coming in to look at your website. Even those who may not have the interest of buying anything. Okay. And another disadvantage is people may not actually be conversant in navigating your website or to navigate the right places to look for what they're looking for. That can actually be a disadvantage now let's look at um, multimedia presentation now for multimedia presentation we looked at uh, presentations that use animations okay not just animations videos or and sound or music okay and it is so much interesting than the static presentations which are done on slides or paper okay um presentations are produced um using uh, many software applications uh talking about uh, powerpoint google slide and the likes of that and it is accompanied with a multimedia projector now the reason why it is projected so that a, a large audience depending on the kind of audience you are looking at can be able to see what you are presenting okay however there are advantages and disadvantages to them and we are going to look at right away for the advantage the use of sounds 
okay, which are more likely to grab the attention of the audience. Okay, um, okay, it, it can be interactive. Okay, because uh, hyperlinks are built in, so you can put in links that brings people to um, other websites that you need them to go in the, in the course of your presentation. Um, the use of transitions effects which allow a presentation to display facts in a key or chronological order, you know, in alphabetical or whatever order it could be. Okay, uh, it's more flexible and uh, because of the links to the websites, okay, or internal system. Why this is the advantages, we also have disadvantages. And one, you need a special equipment which can be expensive, uh, talking about the projector, and not just that, danger that this equipment can fail, okay? And that means that if it fails, people can actually see what you're presenting. And you actually need to have internet connection. If people are going off from that, if you're going off from that presentation, okay? And um, yes, it's, it's very easy to make a bad presentation with too many animation effects and the likes of that, okay? Um, although this is not here, we're looking at media streaming quickly. And if you talk about media streaming, we're looking at when users watch videos or listen to music or devices that are connected to the internet, okay? And when using this media streaming, there's no actual need to actually download them or save them on your device. You're actually watching it and streaming it live on the internet, okay? And uh, which is actually very cool too, because you can get information without having to download anything. Then we have the e-publication that we talked about, talking about your e-books, digital magazines, digital newspapers, and your digital libraries. Okay. And uh, yeah. And finally, we'll be looking at. Uh, Okay, look at flyers and posters. Flyers and posters. Um, flyers and posters are more or less the same. Okay, it's just that one is distributed and the other, on the other hand, is pasted. Okay, so for your flyers, what we call your brochure, okay, um, we see them as. Um, for flyers, they can be they are informative documents um, which can be distributed to promote or create awareness. Okay, either of an event or upcoming event. Okay, uh, for posters, they are larger than flyers and are strat strategically um, positioned to promote and create awareness. And they are displayed on billboards, notice board buildings as part of advertising that. And the reason is to reach a target audience. Okay. And we have them in this slide here. Um, butchers are here. Yeah. Okay. Now for the butchers, they're like flyers or leaflets. And leaflets are uh, informative documents that can be, uh, they, are, they, can, they, they can be used to advertise a company and they're informative, okay, and they are put in into sections, okay, and it makes it easy to target um, an audience, okay. So I've talked about flyers. Um, for later headed papers, or later headed, they are official doc uh, printed documents, and they are mailed to clients for the use, okay, especially internal, that is, later headed papers, later headed uh, uh, information are sent to organizations, of employees of that organization, okay, or from customers, let them know that whatever reason or whatever reasons you're working on, but it it come it it has the features of where of who is sending that, talking about the logo, the address, and the same thing, more or less like a business card, okay, more or less like a business card where um they are printed document that provide information about the kind of business you are into, okay? And of course, they are distributed to uh, potential clients, as the case may be. And finally, we'll be looking at 
mobile phones okay talking about mobile communication and one thing you need to realize is um it, it, it is it is we are able to communicate using towers inside um, cells and networks together to cover large areas okay and each tower has its own cell and the likes of that the process it actually have to go through okay so for example if a person is making a call or sending a text to somebody in a different country the satellite technology is used to enable the communication to take place if it's within the same country then there's a tower that can actually do that okay and mobile devices uses a sim talking about subscriber identity model card to allow it to connect to the mobile phone cellular network okay and they use wireless internet connectivity okay now with what we've been said what, what has been said there are certain features for the mobile communication and that is one um, your, your ability to uh, make phone calls send sms like a short message uh, service you can actually uh, make voice over internet protocol that is making call over the internet um, you can video call and you can have internet access as well okay talking about the voice over internet protocol we're talking about the viop okay it's a method that is used to talk people talk to people using the internet and it converts the sound pick up your mobile device internet microphones and into um, digital packet as the case maybe okay so we have a question um so it's important that we know what this is um and know the functions and the features of them okay so important that we know okay so we'll be um ending our class here in our next video we'll be talking about uh modeling application as important we talk about the modeling application thank you so much